Philip, I want to tell you a story. <laughs> and like all good stories, it starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a father. And in case you can't figure that out, that's me. <laughs> this father had a wonderful little boy. He was very happy. Then one day he found out that his wife was going to have a little baby. So I pray, Lord, if it's your will, you know, he did. I was the first person to hold her in my arms. I looked at her and I said, Lord, make her like a mother. And he did. She was loving, giving, and so good and so good. But then I realized I was getting left out. <laughs> so I said, Lord, make her like me. And he did. She could drive a truck and a tractor. She could load an egg and strip the back of it. Do you realize what you did? <laughs> but at the same time, she was a pink Emotional. So I said, Lord, that's enough of that. <laughs> Make her like you. And he did. He gave her the guard to serve people. She loves people. She gave her life to being a nurse. She's brought people back to the day. And she's held the hand of people and breathed their last breath. He gave her a heart for missions. She's trekked all over the world, pushed canoes up swollen rivers, and laid on the floor while bullets whizzed outside so she could tell people about Jesus. But still, something was missing. So I said, Lord, make her happy. And she made You see that look on her face? I never saw that. Today I'm giving you the best thing I have to give. I just wanted you to know before I do that how hard me and God's work to get her ready. <laughs> so, Philip, as I give her to you, I don't think you'll mind if I give you one little word of advice. Me and God's work hard. Don't screw it up. <laughs>